Welcome or not, this is me, yeah. This is what I have in third party Transformers. One's at the back. Uh, the uh, is Feral Rex. I'm missing probably about two. To actually do a full, complete version of him. Uh, from here to here, apart from these three, these are MFT, these are hot soldiers. I have a ruler. So, the hot soldiers are basically nearly four inches, if you look at Ironhide here. These are, well, I should say, not Ironhide. There we go. He's roughly about four inches. Mr. Soundwave is basically not even four and a half inches. He's just over four inches tall. Goldbug and Bumblebee are the same size. They're well and truly under four inches. They're about three point something. And I did take Goldbug out, so I'm not going to transform him. But he's exactly the same height as Bumblebee. And yes, both actually do transform into Volkswagens. It's the same old, just different head. And different paint job. This is just limited edition. So let's set them off to the side. Ratchet, well, not Ratchet, I should say, is actually the same size as Ironhide. Though, do keep in mind, it is the same mold, just different paint and different head sculpt. The Camera Brothers, they're less than four inches tall each. Even when you have them standing up straight, they're really less than four inches and everything else. So I can just sit them off to the side. Oh, and it does actually matter which way you put them. Though not really for the, other, for the two on the end. The, uh, not Galvatron. Uh, with horn, with that, it is five, but if I go here, he's, to the top of his head, he is, uh, less than five inches tall, so do keep in mind. Uh, not cup here. These actually do scale very well against each other. Uh, he's, he is about just four, just over four inches tall because of his head. Now this cup is a 1986 version, movie version cup. I'm gonna say this one's a lot more better than the Hasbro one. I'm just saying, don't take my word for it. The not Ultra Magnus here. Uh, top of the pylon, you could say he's roughly, he's pushing six inches tall. But if we go to the top of the of his head, he's nearly five and a half, and then we have the smoke sack, so it is it is different, so it depends on where on the height you want him to stand be at. I'll sit him off to the side. Let's uh get not shockwave. Um he has, he does have light piping, but it don't work. Um, this is both um, not Shockwave and not Springer here. They're the Lost Planet versions. So we are going from top of the head, which is probably same size as that so uh, he's just above four inches and he does actually come with interchangeable hands and such which I am gonna have to redo a whole lot of these videos at one point I can't do it back this weekend because of um, a little something that's going on in Melbourne so I'm sending him off to the side uh, not Springer 
I have better things to do than die. There. As we can see, uh, top here is about just over four and a half. For the head, he's under four and a half. Though, do actually do keep in mind, his feet are on ball joints, so you can get a whole range of movement. The reason why I don't display these is because well, you can hear his legs. And this is a better version of Springer than what um, Hasbro brought out. Uh, G1 version from the 80s was fine. This is a good rendition if you want to actually display, um, if you want to have a bigger Feral Rex, aka Predator King, to actually be holding your Autobots in hand. Not to mention paint apps. Damn. Damn spot on. Apart from uh, his eyes are metallic, you just can't see them. Unless you're actually looking at him in the light. But you can't see anything over his big ass chest. Bamboo problem. So I'm setting him off to the side. Next up is not swoop. Yeah, I thought I'd do a size comparison here during this video. So the wings five inches to the crest here, it is five and a half to the head. I'm gonna say five inches tall to the head, but he is a good rendition of the G1 figure that came out in the 80s, 90s. And let's just say, I love Swoop. Me Swoop, me see nothing. Yeah, you don't see nothing because you're not Swoop. <laughs> and then we have Sludge or Slag. No, this is Sludge. Slag's the Stegosaurus, isn't he? Well, this is not Sludge. Um, yeah, he does have a issue with standing, so... If you want him to stand generation where you generation one way you can't because of all the kibble that's in the that's in his feet. And yeah, I've been trying to get this to sit properly and it still doesn't want to sit properly at all. I have no idea why. Because that's one of the issues with this figure. But he is a good rendition of Generation 1. So, so get the ruler. Stand up as straight as I can. And he's roughly about five and a half inches tall. No, I'm not going to transform him. If I were to transform him, this video would be taking over an hour. So you're not off to the side. And in the back we have the big feral race. Predator Kings, um, not Predator King, this, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to move back, um, as we can see, inches tall on the back there, if we go here, he's about nine inches tall, because of the head sculpt. This, I'm counting this as the head because it's the only thing that can actually, and, yeah. The mouths do move on these figures and they can cover the head up very nicely. Um, the biggest one out of these would be giant in the back. Literally 12 inches with what he's got, um, 10 inches to the head. The one at the back, uh, just over 9 inches tall, if you include the beak. He's under about 8.5 if you include the head. And the same with um, the bull dude. Uh, no, the rhino. The bull dude. Oh, uh, God. 
we're gonna say under 10 inches with um about eight something inch tall on the head here but he is tall he is um a bit taller up top so yeah take it as you want now these four at the back the uh Girl rex they cost me 75 dollars i got them off someone through um transformers by what by swap and sell australia which is good first mf mft was not galvatron uh second was probably not ultra magnus so uh let's just move rhino boy back so it's not ultra magnus um i think i got springer third then it was not shockwave i know i got i have two of these i have two of these sound waves this is the black one which is the limited edition one because if i got the other one out it'd be the same thing it's the same sound wave that's it so i got him then it was i think those two they came in a box themselves. Um, Bumblebee was, yeah, and then um, Cup. Was it Cup or? I don't really remember. I can go back through the videos, but the camera boys themselves, uh, Goldbug, then Not Sludge, and then Not Swoop. So you can see this is a very very big very small to big collection here of third party transformers i don't have dr wu i don't have iron factory i don't have any of the others i am looking at getting more mft transformers to actually fill out this line um hot soldiers does actually have a optimus prime and a nemesis prime i am hoping to grab but i do need the other three dinobots uh, there is a Megatron that I would love to get to go with not Galvatron and back there. Um, anything else I am missing? Oh yeah, the other two for Feral Rex in the back so I can actually make him. I can't even make him. I can do um, body, arm and two legs. That's it. Nothing else. Um... Yeah, that's about it. So the rest of the MFTs, the um, the Dinobots, uh, I am going to have to get another Ultra Magnus. There is one that's a little bit more better with a, he is bigger. And not, um, well, if you saw the video of me transforming this, not Ultra Magnus, uh, he was, he's a chibi. If you don't know what a chibi means, it's small. If I can remember on how he transforms, I would actually show you. And I am trying to remember on how he transforms. Yeah, I can't remember how he transforms. <laughs> Not without the uh, book. Not without the instructions. And getting everything to actually line up to keep it all tapped in is a problem. So. If you are going for the big ones, these these do actually make a very nice um, set because you can have them shooting upwards towards um, 
not Devastator, not Bruticus, not Direct, um, not Predaking, I should say. But yeah, um, Bird Boy in the back, he is top heavy. Same with Rhino. Same with the Bull dude in the back. So yeah, I've been trying to get um trying to get every <laughs> everyone in shot now. <laughs> It's that hard. It's that hard. Because the kitty is leaning just slightly and his head's cut off. But yeah, that is everyone. That is what I have at the moment. Like I said, I am thinking of going back through the videos to actually redo all these reviews again. So do keep an eye out on them. Um, Goldbug, I may have to do first because I don't want to, um, break him. I've had him for probably a year, probably more than that. I'm not entirely sure. I have to go back through to see when I got him. Uh, but he will be the first one to be reviewed again. And the GPS, which is Gold Plastic Syndrome, yes, it's different from when it was in the 90s. But still, if you're a collector... And you're keeping him, if you've got gold bug like this, keep him in the box. Yes, you can take him out and transform him and such, but just be careful. Gold plastic can be fragile. And some places do still use the formula from the 90s, which is very bad. Not to mention he also came with a, another head and a gold in, um, cassette of Ravage. Anyway... That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah. I am... Um, I'm just gonna... Transform these boys back. I'm just gonna transform... Yeah, their their heads don't um their heads don't uh exactly change much. But their transformation is the same. Like I said, thank you for coming, watching, and enjoying the video. I will see you all next time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the instructions anyway.